Welcome to episode two, Knights of the Old Republic. Quick save before I forget. Gavik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Gavik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we can just let them drag this guy off? You know Hold what? Then again, looks like we uh, got ourselves a witness here. Uh, 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 yeah, sorry, I'll be going now. Come on, we don't want to keep Davik waiting. Oh, purple, Greetings and good day. On behalf of the new Sith rulers, I am programmed to encourage you to enjoy your stay on Taurus. I am an employee of the Taurus government, programmed to provide information and guidance to any who require it. May I be of any further service to you? Then if you will excuse me, I must continue my appointed rounds. Still, you are welcome here. I will not have it said that Selka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Taras. Do you require healing or medical supplies? Do I can treat almost any injury or ailment healing? right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of, of course. Kick down, Sparky. Sparky, 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 if you ever need any medical aid or treatment, you know where to find me. Alright, back to tanks. Lab personnel only. It's locked up. Alright, cool. So... Uh, okay, then I guess... Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kepler Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Ah, uh, cool, swoop bikes. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, see what you got just so sell. you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. Yes, yes. Swap me in. God damn it. Oh, wow. What kind of broke? Uh, ooh. But. 
What if we sell some things? Oh yeah, here we go. Money, 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 money! Money! Money, 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 money! Money, money, money! Naden out see medium light light medium light so I guess I should have saved my money. I don't even know. Decisions, decisions. Um the hell let's do it. Alright, we got one. Fantastic. Looking good. Looking good. Okay. Another protocol droid. The Kanzima. Well, hello there. I can see from your exotic appearance well, that you are not from there. Taurus originally. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jurgen. Jurgen. What do you want, Jurgen? What do you think of our local music? The band is quite good, wouldn't you agree? They're on the verge of intergalactic stardom, you know. Obviously, you have an ear for music. Mark my words, they'll be famous soon enough. They were about to go on tour before this Sith quarantine stranded them here. Would you like to meet the band after the show? Maybe have a brief brush with fame before they become intergalactic superstars? I can arrange it, you know. Can you? Are you certain? This is a once-in-a-lifetime oh, opportunity. Uh, meet the legends uh, before they were famous. All it will cost you is a small handful of credits. I have a standing arrangement with one of the Rodian bodyguards backstage. For the small sum of 20 credits, he'll let me set up a meeting with you and the band. Not interested in That's too the band. bad. They really are charming fellows. Very well then, I hope you enjoy the music. If you change your mind, come speak with me again. Okay, I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match! Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants 
will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all you better down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Golan Twofinger. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Jedi Duncan. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the Indoor Spire. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Jedi Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past. And no name, the mysterious stranger. Okay then. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is how I use an ability. Yeah, let's get that flurry in there. Josh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and 
no name. Mysterious stranger. Ladies and gentlemen, draw it over in this corner. A woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She is cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. And in the other corner. Mysterious stranger. Let's go cut this. Let's go cut this bee now. <laughs> Ladies and over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice Sorry, water like in her veins. She is cold and quick as death and in the... Here looking for conversation. I just came to get a drink, listen to some music, and try to relax before my next shift at the military base. The military base? You're from the military base? You don't look like one of the soldiers. I don't wear my uniform when I'm off duty. It's not allowed. In fact, anyone in uniform is banned from entering the cantina. The officers don't even like it when we show up here off duty. Don't like us fraternizing with the locals, I guess. But it gets pretty stale hanging around the base all the time. Besides, the Sith don't own me. Being a soldier in their fleet is just a job, you know. A job with long hours and low pay, I might add. No kidding. Sounds like you aren't very happy. When I signed up, I was promised adventure and excitement in exotic locales. Instead, I end up stationed at a military base on some backwater planet on the fringes of the galaxy. If I could just find some other way to earn some credits, I could give this lousy job up. Uh -huh. Retire my uniform, so some to speak. Credit. The senior off. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man? Just 50. No. Yeah, there's no way. Uh, no. 
Sorry, getting into that. Leave me alone. I'm not giving out any auto prints to my fans today. What? You don't recognize me? I'm Bendix Starkiller, the most famous blaster slinger on Taurus. Over 100 duels without a loss. Every one of them a death match. You don't look so tough. Maybe you'll take me on. I'm retired now. Once death matches became illegal, I just got bored with the game. I got no interest in using stun blasters. There was nobody left to challenge me anyway. I've seen you in the dueling ring, but you haven't impressed me. Now, if you could beat all these other pretenders. Off with you then. Don't you just love watching the Kazakh players? Oh my! Don't you just love flush. watching the Kazakh players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. Oh! Oh my! What do you want? Have you come here just to bother me, do or do you want? wish to test yourself against you the best Kazakh player on Taurus? <laughs> if you ever wish to. Can't you see I'm busy with my duty? Welcome back. It will just take me a moment while I examine. Hey, that was fast and cheap. All right. Good enough for me. All right, let's head into the next zone. Bothering Kark. Maybe you should speak to him and see if you can get him to open up about it. Oh, God. Work. Alright, let's yes, talk to him. Do you know anything about this place? Terrace? The planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past. And things have gotten worse since the Sith occupied it. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows. And it gets worse the lower you go. Well, that's all I can think of at any rate. Sounds like every human city ever. Me? Well, I've been a... But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter of these Sith animals can unleash. Really? Not even the Mandalorians, the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. Calm down, I, I was just asking. You're the one who wanted to know more about me. Well, this is it. This is what I am. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just... <sighs> Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed. 
I, I didn't. Indeed. Uh, hey, why are you getting so mad at me? It's not like this was my fault. I know fault. that. I'm not angry at you. Don't think that. I, I must not be making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. Okay. At all, actually. Okay. I'm more used to taking action. Okay. I'm focused okay. on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. All right. Excellente. He's a salty sarsaparilla. What is this planet coming oh. to, huh? Slummy's just walking around oh. the upper city. He's going to die. He's going to die. Super long slumming. Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for hey, upper city shit. citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. You'd better think twice about what you're doing. This might be more than you can handle. Uh, come on, fellas. This love me ain't worth the bother. That's uh, right. Uh, I will yeah. literally cut That's you down right. in the street. Maybe next time, Slummy. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let's go. A plague spreads through our streets. We cannot sit idly by while this pox infects our society. This elevator is off limits. Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols. So unless you have the If you were supposed to have them, you'd know where to get them. Now quit wasting my time and move along. Move along then. We're gonna need some kind of disguise if we want to get past this guy. I gathered as much.
lot to do. Listen to me, people. There is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet, friends and fellow humans. I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Uh, great Please, plague. listen to me. My name is Gorton Kolu. Will Sounds you like join my game. cause? Like we must band Please. together if we are to stop listen the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taris. Vermin and scum. Are you referring to the Sith? I am speaking of the hideous-looking aliens who walk the world of Taris. The Wookiees and Ithorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them! Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have formed the Anti-Alien League. The time has come for action. We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet. Okay, uh... We should slaughter the whole bunch of them. Yes, my fellow human. You have seen the light. Gorton Koglu has marked your face. I will remember you when the time to destroy the aliens and the alien lovers is upon us. For now, stay vigilant. Be Interesting. Alright, so... The evil walks among us. The enemy is the evil. If any of those Republic space pods survived crash landing in the Undercity. Just move along. There's nothing to see here. Where did you hide those Sith uniforms? Did you sell them to the Terizian underground? Start talking. I want answers. I want answers. Please, I'm only a visitor to Taurus, trapped here by your quarantine. I know nothing about the Terizian underground or your missing, missing Sith uniforms. Uniforms? What are they? You're a little too curious for your own good, civilian. This doesn't concern you. I know all about Sith interrogations. This isn't going to end well. I'm getting sick of your lies, you alien scum. We've got your ugly mug and a security tape from the base. Start talking before I splatter your slimy brains all over this room. Uh-oh. I think the commander's losing his temper. I'm glad I'm out of here. It took me an hour to clean the bloodstains from my uniform after the last interrogation. Just stay out of this if you know what's good for you. You're right, do whatever. Smart move. This is your last chance. Where did you hide those uniforms you stole? <laughs> Get in here. Search the room. I know those uniforms are in here somewhere.
What do you want, civilian? Do you have any information? Not so far, civilian. Why are you here? Are you a spy? You came to buy- Of course I did. If I wanted uniforms, I'd just kill you and take the I knew you were a spy. Oh, indeed. Just cut this. Cut this bastard down. How'd you like that? Check out that base first. I bet there's some loot. I bet there's some loot in there. It looks a lot like World of Warcraft. To be honest with you, it's like War well, it's like WoW era graphics. Uh, okay, so okay, so I guess I'm supposed to do that. Supposed to do the elevator. Kipona. Sith aren't welcome here. Switch back into our good armor. He switches down. I should just get a con concussion grenade off. Oh. Snap off. Oh. 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 Javier's Coutinho. Oh, 
Kiwi Aita Kachong Chicha. Don't cause any trouble, Tina. 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 Don't cause any Chi gratu no da pograsi o ne un compa ci tondo mucuba lo da dita kun ita patiso pa tua ka chi kun ita hodonga i king kun you are looking for piercer cards greeting stranger my name is galrut are you a pazak player but yes yeah Go away. Cheese can eat you. Kimba muli rap on a G. Kimba no kun mixa abom. Kakin cha nawa bakaon. Tun abashun ni chun chi. Kipona. Kava tumpa kurpa yia moka paata. Chiyoka kutumpa kurpa yia. One. Oscar. Cheese can eat you. The hoopa botenya go yiji piti. Kipona. Kava tumpa kupailea muka pata. Chiyoka kutumpa kupailea. Two. Chiyoka ku. Kimba muli rap wana ji. Ku yami juski chika nai. Kupa baska dwana chichopa muska. Chiska da soki kupa bona na chachu. Tune pudu. Rananu prata dunko shirkasha. Tum da pike. Three. Well done. Hey, you Go party? away. Uh, so how you mopped up those black bulkers? Nice work. One. I'm not looking for a fight, I just want to talk. Two. Friendly, Three. Oh, wow. Um. Oh. 